I got 69% of battery, so hopefully that lasts me. Um, I think I'm gonna be doing like a get rid of me slash life update. I know I don't really speak a lot on my life in general because I'm not really, I think, try to be a private person. I've just been doing a lot of stuff basically ever since the pandemic. I would say the pandemic was like a huge change year for me, like a lot of things in and out change for me as a person, as an individual. I've also been developing great ideas and I also have just kind of embarked in like on a spiritual journey and I started like reading a lot. This is like I started my makeup, just I'm gonna forget, which um, for gym makeup, I actually like to use like the powder foundation. I'm not really gonna use it today. I'm doing this foundation actually is like waterproof, sunproof, everything kind of proof. Uh, back then, I didn't used to wear any makeup whatsoever because I used to sweat a lot. And I would be like, I don't want to be one of those girls that wears makeup to the gym and breaks out and whatever. But then I just stopped giving a fuck. <laughs> I also started reading like, a lot of self-help books. A few little things that I've been doing or working on past two years, like on um, self-growth, spirituality, getting closer to God with myself, pretty much all the good stuff. I've been reading a lot of good books ever since the pandemic. It's kind of funny because I never was the kind of person who liked self-help books. I actually thought they were like, literally stupid and I kind of like fashion and everything but here I am you know reading self help books being honest they actually do help a lot they actually help you um, just have better coping mechanisms just understand what you're doing may not be the right thing to be honest just kind of keeps you aware of what's going on so even if you are the kind of person who don't like self help books I definitely do recommend you to check it out because I think it's actually very beneficial I don't know why I also have been kind of working behind the scenes and what I mean behind the scenes I mean like extremely behind the scenes with like a few ideas that I have for the future which I'm not really gonna talk about it right now because it's still kind of like I would say a secret as I guess eventually we'll find out what I'm working on but it's something that I've been wanting to do for like a really long time and last year I finally took the steps to be like okay you know what I'm gonna stop making this into like an idea, into like a dream. I'm just gonna do it, you know? So last year I basically started like working on a few little projects that I was kind of like this, doubting myself. And some of these projects, they now have just brought me a lot more opportunities and also have helped me grow as a person. Like, um, my anxiety is still pretty bad when it comes to like being prolic. Like, I don't like to be in prolic sometimes, like it makes me feel like just anxious, like just having people around me, I'll feel claustrophobic. But um, I can be, I guess, better in the camera. Like, I used to be cringier in the camera, I'm not gonna lie. The way I used to speak and everything was just like, Ugh. and I feel that I'm more comfortable being in front of the camera, which is something that I never thought I was able to achieve. So, kudos to me, I guess. <laughs> um, I also have been taking therapy. Because um, obviously, I'm not really super careful about this, but y'all know that I have BPD. For those of you who don't know what BPD is, it's basically, uh, basically, basically, borderline personality disorder. And it's, I'm not gonna say it's like split personality, but I am a little bit too extreme of everything. So if I'm mad and not like a regular person, I can be mad like that, like just let it go after a while, I guess. I can be literally mad for like a month sometimes and I'm definitely it's not healthy. Something that has improved a lot actually because I have kind of gotten to the point that I just really don't care or don't really get as mad as I used to before to be honest. Everything is just gonna be different for everybody. We all are allowed to have our own opinion and everything and it's really up to me. It's only my responsibility for myself to control my own emotions and responses. So yeah, I definitely have improved on that. Definitely still have to work on a lot of stuff in my life. But I'm happy about that. <laughs> you know? <gasps> I look so bad up close actually, I didn't even notice. <laughs> I don't know how to say this, but I kind of have me having my suspicions that I may be autistic. Or be on the spectrum, you know what I mean? And I mean, nothing wrong with it obviously. It's just something that I guess I never thought of it. But the more I learn about it, the more I see symptoms and stuff. The more it makes sense, you know, like, I'm just like, yeah, like, that actually makes sense. This dude, I'm, I, I didn't tell if I'm eccentric, I guess. I'm, I know I can be eccentric. 
but uh, there's a lot of things that really kind of like hit almost every single mark so basically I just recently contact with somebody so I can potentially get that diagnosed like it's kind of see if it is if, if it's not but you like to get diagnosed um besides all of that my mental illness and you know I guess my self-growth journey I'm actually launching a challenge with way better and way better is basically a platform in which you can sign up to like different challenges and they also win money whenever you like complete each one of the activities so it's a really good way to kind of keep yourself motivated and also be rewarded at the same time because you can have like a not big community I mean, it can be something small but it can be also sometimes big but i would say a decent sized community for you to be motivated and just kind of work out and be active once you join you get the chance to win the pot size which is depends on how many players join and also depending on how many players do finish activities so it can be a pretty decent amount of money i guess i mean can win anywhere from like 50 bucks to like 100 bucks on time so even 400 bucks because the more people they are the bigger the chance for you to win money i'm gonna leave the link somewhere here down below but i'll be working with this company called Trova trip in which they actually contact people like me i guess influencers uh, i guess and basically uh, ask me to host travel trips so I actually potentially could be hosting a travel trip next year, 2023, somewhere in the world. I'm um, still in the works, so kind of having my shots with the team and all that good stuff. But you know what? That's nice. Uh, that's basically going to be more next year, to be honest. So for anybody, I guess I want to come and travel with me, you know? You got time, don't worry, you got time because I don't have my passport yet, so I just also need to get that. <laughs> Obviously, I already announced this on my Instagram, so if you do follow my Instagram, which I hope you do, follow my Instagram, uh, you might see that I actually started working with EHP Labs. And EHP Labs is a company that I actually have been buying the products for, I would say, two years. I mean, it's been like on and off. I even started like trying out their stuff in Vitamin Shop because I didn't want to pay for like shipping and all that stuff and i'm kind of impatient to be honest sometimes it literally fell in love with Akshat because i keep seeing summit always sharing uh, Akshat and ever since i've been trying Akshat and being consistent with it obviously with good training and everything i just seen such a huge difference on my physique it's gonna be my code right here so if you do want to buy some supplements for your HP labs you want to try Akshat which is the one that i take all the time um, you should definitely try out honeydew on the non-stimulant version, tastes amazing. Or you try out the mystery flavor from Summer, which is kind of limited edition to Yona, so hopefully they still have a stock. But I think by far that's like the best, best flavor ever. I'm taking my time and kind of perfecting my content, because I feel my content as already has been kind of, it's been okay, but I feel it could definitely be better. Oh wait, I am completely almost forgot this one. I'm actually gonna be potentially competing this year. And when I see when I say potentially, I say it will most likely happen. Like I'm prepping for it, I'm kinda of getting ready for it, but I mean things can always change, you never know. I can always kinda of like postpone and maybe do it later on later next year, like beginning of next year, something like that. But my plan is to go in November, hopefully. I wanna compete in wellness. That's definitely a division that I feel I will accept. And for those who don't know, I competed back in 2018 and I was the first night I competed. I placed number 10 in my class, which is pretty good for my first time, I'm not gonna lie. I was really fucking proud of that visit. And I was like, damn, I really did that. And every single time I look at those pictures when I'm not competing, I was kind of like, damn, I really fucking did that. Um, it might sound weird, but I'm pretty sure a lot of bodybuilders and competitors can understand. So it's something about just kind of see if you can just kind of beat the past version of yourself, something about that. I actually do know that I've been working a lot harder and I definitely have made a lot more progress than I was in my life because I understand, I understand everything that I fell at and I also understand everything that I had to fix. I have a new coach, his name is Instagram right here. His name is Tyler and basically he's going to be the person that's going to be coaching my diet and very much journey throughout this whole thing. I also have this other coach called Brian which he's definitely a good old friend 
and I'm gonna be going back to him for training purposes because he just local, so it's easier for me to kind of work out with him. And he definitely kicks my ass. You see in this brand, do kick my ass. <laughs> Camera almost died, but that's basically it. I'm gonna be competing this year, prepping for it. I'll be showcasing my prep journey the deeper I get into it. But right now, I'm just gonna be focusing on my mental health a little bit because the girl needs it. So, bye guys. Thank you for supporting me and I love you always. Wash your hands and be safe.